Okay, I have that same original image open in Photoshop. So let's go through this one more time for a final practice. We're going to follow the steps to format raster-based images in Photoshop. I'm gonna go relatively quick in, quickly in this demo. Um, the first thing that you need is you need to experiment and play in InDesign to figure out exactly how big that frame needs to be. So our last frame is 2.75 inches across and 2.5 inches tall. Once the image is open in Photoshop, immediately save a copy in a print file format. Since these are raster-based images, a TIFF is a great print file format for raster-based images. So we'll call this third balloons and save it as a TIFF. Second, we need to make sure that we're using a print color mode. So choose image mode and instead of RGB, which is the default on the web, you're going to change it to CMYK. A prompt will appear. You must select OK, and essentially you're saying that you understand that there are more colors available in RGB color space, and you are limiting yourself by putting it in CMYK, and that's OK. Next, choose image and image size. Change the resolution to 300, but do not resample. What you want is whatever the number of pixels are in the image, to stay the same, and when you change the resolution from 72 to 300, you should notice that the size of the image in inches gets smaller. That's okay. Before you leave the image size dialog, check the size of the image. This is the biggest that you could use that image as. So as long as we're going to crop it smaller, it's fine and we can select okay. Next it's time to crop. So you're going to grab the crop tool, which is the sixth tool down on the tools panel. I've already forgotten my image size, so I'm going to pop back over to InDesign and it's 2.75 by two and a half inches. So on your options bar across the top of the screen, change the ratio drop down to width, height, and resolution. And then type in that the image should be 2.75 IN for inches, 2.5 IN for inches again, and 300 goes in the last text frame, which is 300 pixels per inch. The crop overlay will adjust to that aspect ratio, and you can click and drag to decide what part of the image you would like to keep and when you're done hit the check mark to accept those changes. Double check your work by going to the image menu and choose image size. You should now see that that image when cropping for print is the exact width and height in inches that you want and the correct resolution. If you were cropping for the web you're going to check that the image is the exact number of pixels across and pixels tall that you were wanting. When you're done, save your work and you can leave Photoshop. When you come back to InDesign, you can select your frame and choose File Place and then place your image directly into the frame. Then, before you consider this complete, you're going to use the Links panel, which you can open via the Window menu and Links to double check your work. So open the, the Links panel, select the image that you're checking, and just confirm that the settings are all print settings. TIFF is for print, CMYK is for print, the actual PPI, which is the actual resolution, is the Photoshop resolution. So in Photoshop, you made this image 300 pixels per inch, and the effective is the InDesign resolution. So in InDesign, it is also displaying as 300. If all of those things are true, you can consider this image perfectly formatted, and you can move on to whatever the next stage of your design process would be.